boy boys welcome welcome to another episode in our multi-year career mode playthrough back with the titans year two it is round 11 and we are just a couple of weeks away from state of origin uh next week's team will look crazy different like i said in the previous video our depth will be tested as we do have quite a few players missing i don't want to look too far ahead as we do have a pretty decent team uh we are facing today well at least on paper and that is the west tigers our squad pretty much full strength but before we jump into the action shout out to the gang be sure to show yourselves in the comment section down below with a hash tag odd squad for a potential cheeky little shout out and yeah let's jump right into it We will be looking at the ladder as well in the next video. I think we're tracking well for a top 8 spot. I think top 4. I think it's definitely still doable as well. We could for sure push for a spot in the top 4. We just need to go on a little win streak. But um, of course it's much easier said than done as we get the timing wrong here. A forward pass to Brimson. And it'll be the Tigers inside. Just inside the 30 here. Alex Twell at the back of the scrum sends it to Dane Laurie who in real life has been a one of the few shining lights out of the West Tigers as Luke Brooks tries to float one out wide but it's easily read there by Corey Thompson all right so we get let off the hook for that little knock on slash forward pass whatever it was and yeah, we'll try and work our way out of our own half of the field here through Fogarty Drops one inside for Brimson, but there's no way through around that ruck. As we send it out the back to Fogarty, links off Taylor. Taylor drops it off to David for feeder, who was through. I think that was Dane Laurie committed to the tackle, missed for feeder completely, but we had already uh, had the pass on our mind. Fifth and last here, just inside, or just outside, the Tigers 40. We'll send it to the skies here through Peachy. A decent kick. We need a better chase and there it is. As we lock up the Tigers winger here on their 20. I'm not going to lie, I tried to meet their winger and smash them with the hit stick. I think it's uh, that young dude, Asuke Power on the wing. As they make a little break here, 12. Gets the offload from uh, Jacob Little. Cheeky little run out of W half. Tigers all of a sudden outside our 20. <laughs> As Thomas Michaele makes it towards the 10, little out to Morale Dane Laurie. Plenty involved in this match. Oh, yeah, I was talking about Laurie earlier. How good has he been for the Tigers? For me, he's up there for one of the buys of the season. And again, another one of those young guns that are overperforming. Only six minutes remaining, still no points on the board for either team. A few line breaks here and there, but no real, uh, no real close calls in terms of tries. As on the second, Taylor puts Tavita Pangai Jr. through the hole. A little draw and pass. TPJ is pulled up on the 40. We set up for a kick. As we try to hammer it in the corner, we got the wind blowing in that direction. It does pull up short of the sideline. Scooped up by Dane Laurie, who gets around the first defender. And it takes two to pull him down around the Tigers 30 here. We push up off the line and that's like a one meter gain. She cam as Jacob Little threatening around the ruck. Goes for another scoot on the 40. Luke Brooks takes the tackle. Two to go and two minutes left in the half. The Tigers through Leilua will get wrapped up around halfway. It's been a pretty average set. That's pretty much been the story of the half really. Look where they're kicking from. As the Don drops back for the return. Last play of the game. Can we score a miracle try? A little fin from Anthony Don. And that'll wrap up the final play in the half. Both teams heading into the break with no points on the board a close game it's one of those uh, trench warfare games back and forth gritty grimy type of games no scores on the board tigers slightly more position and plenty of line breaks doubling ours stadium's getting a little a little dark here might have to adjust the brightness post match as we crab across field looking for gaps we'll take any meters how we can get them 
we may have to dip into our bag of cheese to uh put some points on the board if it comes to that we'll do it gladly as we look to spread it down the short side here barely any tigers covering as thompson gets around one gets caught high that may very well be just the break we need first on their 20 just piggyback downfield stags shows it to the left side dummies to the right and we will score the first points of the match through Godoni Stags after a cheeky little a cheeky little snap from dummy half. One thing I do find during these little these little tugs of war type of matches, the tries that we do end up scoring, they are they're not the most structured of plays. They're mostly a bit of individual brilliance and a bit of luck. That's usually what it takes even in real life to break these deadlocks. back here on the first big Sam Lissone that's a great carry from the big man coming off the bench Fogarty looking for Brimson but again taken by the initial defender Brimo a little bit quiet not too sure what role he'll play in origin if he'll get a chance to play in origin I've got a couple of uh, unorthodox lineups Flowing through my mind at the moment as Taylor looks to send it into the corner once again. Just playing position here, try and pin them in their oh, corner. Yellow. As Tane Laurie, doesn't matter where you kick it, he will get at least around one defender. Till he's finally wrapped up just past the Tigers 30. I don't know if you boys heard about Boyd Cordner. You know, we were uh, talking about Boyd Cordner, I think last year. The end of last year, just pretty much expressing concerns about his well-being, you know, after all the head knocks and whatnot. A couple days ago, he just announced his retirement. There's actually been quite a few notable retirements, and when I say notable, from, like, big figures in the game. Cordner, definitely one of them, coming from a Queenslander. The man definitely deserves his respect. He's accomplished a lot in the sport of rugby league as Dane Laurie turns it up. Trying to get going for the Tigers, that was a... That was a hectic little play from Laurie. We definitely need to take a closer look at that. As we get the feed to the scrum, it's going to be Ash Taylor. A clunky old scrum play, but we do make the break. Taylor loose in the backfield here, just trying to angle away from every defender we see, and we will go all the way. Ash Taylor, second try of the game. And like I was saying earlier, just capitalizing off an error from the Tigers. We need to do. We need to have a look at that play once again. So, Dane Laurie breaks away from one, steps around another, and while being tackled from behind, look at the offload. Oh, Luke Brooks butchers it. Dane Laurie killing it so far, going above and beyond, but the Tigers just can't get on the board as we extend our lead to 12. 15 to go in the match, fifth and last. Sitting fairly deep in the pocket, ready for a clearance. Tanner Boyd had other ideas i tried to go for a cheeky kick out of dummy half uh, probably not the time to go for it but we hand over possession that's a good ball to luciano leilua who will get wrapped up 12 meters out will they make us pay for a bit of bad play by tanner we pretty much just gifted them a free set in front of our line as they go for a switch play and it works a treat that was beautiful Boys, is there a more deserving player to score the try here? Look at this. Oh, that's that's class right there from the AI. That's a rough couple of plays from Tanner Boyd. He was the one that got caught out there in defense as it opened up around the ruck. Dane Laurie kicking goals as well as he gets them within six. And that, boys, will wrap up round 11 here. At home, we pick up yet another W, another low-scoring game as well. Be sure to tune in this Friday though, it'll be a huge game. We'll have plenty of players missing, it's the uh, round 12 clash against the number one team in the league at the moment, and that is the Manly Waringa Sea Eagles as always. If you enjoyed that and would like to see more rugby league for content or more content in general, be sure to run and share that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you. you, you, you. Later. Smack that hole with a vice. No regrets for the work I mash cause I can go any day. Cops just want me in chain. Smoke that push for the pain. Looking back at them days in the yard, that old front line in the main. That top is on my way. Bang it.
that pole in the drive. Don't say too much on the phone, cause I don't want these guys knowing my name.